हेलो दिस इज श्रद्धा मैम आई विल बी टेकिंग योर हिस्ट्री फॉर नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इन आर हिस्ट्री इज द हरप्पन सिविलाइजेशन सो लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड द टर्म सिविलाइजेशन सिविलाइजेशन मीन्स ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट ओइंग टू यूज ऑफ सुपीरियर टेक्नोलॉजी न्यू इन्वेंशंस एंड हेडिंग टूवर्ड्स बेटर स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी द लिस्ट ऑफ फैक्टर्स दैट मार्क सिविलाइजेशन बिटवीन फोर थाउजेंड एंड थ्री थाउजेंड बी सी मैन एक्वायर्ड नॉलेज एंड स्किल इन फोर्स ऑफ नेचर ही लर्न द रोल ऑफ नेचर इन एग्रीकल्चर और जर्मिनेशन ऑफ सीड यू कैन से मैन बिगेन टू डू एग्रीकल्चर टू मीट हिज ओन नीड्स दैट इज सस्टेनेबल एग्रीकल्चर ओइंग टू एग्रीकल्चर इट बिकेम इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर हिम टू सेटल एट वन प्लेस तो ही बिगेन टू सेटल एट वन प्लेस ही बिगेन टू लिव इन ग्रुप्स लेटर दीज ग्रुप्स फॉर्मड विलेजेस विलेजेस फॉर्म सिटीज टाउन द सरप्लस ऑफ फूड फ्रीड सम पीपल फ्रॉम द टास्क ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड हेन्स दे वर नाउ डाइवर्टेड टू अदर ऑक्यूपेशन लाइक आर्टिसन पॉटर गोल्ड स्मिथ एक्सेट्रा एंड देन देर वॉज डिविजन ऑफ लेबर पीपल बिगेन टू एक्सप्लोर एंड इन्वेंट न्यू थिंग्स न्यू स्किल्स न्यू स्क्रिप्ट यूजिंग मेटल फॉर मेकिंग वेपन एंड इम्प्लीमेंट सील्स एक्सेट्रा ऑल्सो ही यूज दिस न्यूली एक्वायर्ड स्किल फॉर बिल्डिंग मॉन्यूमेंट्स एंड पब्लिक बिल्डिंग्स लाइक सिटेडल ग्रेट बाथ ग्रैनरीज डॉक यार्ड एक्सेट्रा विच वी विल बी लर्निंग इन दिस चैप्टर ब्रॉन्ज एज सिविलाइजेशन द पीरियड फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड बी सी इज रेफर टू एज ब्रॉन्ज एज सिविलाइजेशन फोर मेजर सिविलाइजेशन हैड इमर्ज इन दिस पीरियड द फर्स्ट इज Harappa civilization in northern and western part of India and Pakistan second Mesopotamian civilization on the banks of river Euphrates and Tigris in modern Iraq third Chinese civilization in the valley of Hangwe and Yangtze river Egyptian civilization on the banks of the Nile river in Egypt all these major civilization were developed near river bank as discussed earlier agriculture made man to settle at one place settling near river gave many advantages like availability of abundant water supply for irrigation transport for carrying goods from one place to another and fertile soil for better quality of crops and better agriculture next is discovery of harappa civilization on the screen you can see the map this map displays the harappan sites harappan civilization is also famously known as indus valley civilization harappan site were discovered in 1921 and these sites were situated in the province of west punjab in pakistan history of any civilization depends on the sources In case of Harappa archaeological sources like building pottery sculpture are major sources that gives lots of information about the civilization the first archaeological source that we are going to study is great bath great bath is similar to swimming pool in today's world great bath was made of burnt brick and gypsum was used in the surrounding there were pillars called porticos and set of rooms probably used for changing clothes or performing rituals it had steps at the north and south for entry and exit base of tank was lined with bitumen and mortar to make it watertight there were also rooms on upper story the stairways were provided to reach the upper stories these rooms are believed to be used by the priests or ruling class the next structure is citadel each city had a citadel it was built on mud brick platform due to which it appeared to be tallest of other buildings it had houses of ruling class important buildings like great bath granaries assembly hall etc the next source which we are going to study is seals about 2000 seals were discovered in the excavation at harappan sites the seals were made of clay like terracotta and stones like agate stateite the seals were of various sizes and shapes like rectangular seals square seals and circular seals you can also see in the pictures that designs on seal comprises animals like bull buffalo tiger goat elephant and rhinoceros 
let us take a look at these two famous seals which will help us understand how the seals were designed in those days the first seal is pashupati seal pashupati is believed to be lord shiva the figure has three the figure has three faces wearing a buffalo horn crown he is seated cross legged and is surrounded by an elephant tiger buffalo rhinoceros and two deer at his feet next seal is unicorn seal unicorn represents the imagination of people during those days it is a mythical belief it is a mythical figure it is one horn horse and there are no references that we can say that such kind of animal existed in those days so we can strongly say that it was their mythical belief it was imaginary figure designed for seals next source that we are going to see is statues so the first statue is stone sculpture of bearded man this stone sculpture was discovered at mohenjo daro historians believe that it can be a statue of yogi or priest as the eyes are half closed which suggests that he might be in meditation next statue is a bronze statue of dancing girl again this masterpiece was found at mohenjo daro this statue throws light on simplicity culture originality variety of ornaments used during that period and the lifestyle of people during those days next is dockyard lothal in gujarat was most important trading and manufacturing center situated in gujarat this dockyard was found at lothal the dockyard was connected by channels to gulf of cambay gulf of cambay is today known as gulf of kambat in arabian sea lothal dockyard played important role in developing trade relations with egypt and mesopotamia thank you